Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, y'all. I put so much lip gloss on this morning. It's everywhere. Okay, I'm going to wait on a couple of people to join us. Laugh. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning, y'all. Don't be rude. Come to the room and say good morning. I'm excited today, y'all. I'm super, super excited this morning, y'all. Like, I'm like overly excited this morning. So, I have been laying in the bed. I'm still actually in bed now. I just raised up. <laughs> so, today is day seven of my challenge that I've been doing on YouTube. The first day I did it, I came here and did it first. It literally took me two weeks to get this challenge done um, because my phone was messing up. But today is day seven of my challenge with the T of HIV. This has been a struggle, y'all, for me to get this done. Um, so today, my topic is, I'm talking about myself, hey. Um, Th these seven days have been really, really challenging because I don't talk about certain stuff. Um, because I, I just don't be feeling like I should because I'm not healed in a lot of areas. But God has allowed me to talk about some stuff that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about some things I usually don't talk about, y'all. So today my topic is cheating with HIV and becoming a sad chick. Um, two topics that people don't want to talk about. Uh, people usually don't want to talk about HIV. They don't want to talk about um, getting tested. They don't want to talk about anything to add to HIV. That is a topic that we just, we hide and we run from because it's a really um, touchy subject, right? <laughs> but then when you tie, hey, y'all, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, could y'all share this live, too, if y'all want to? Y'all don't have to if y'all want to. But share the live. So, and then when you add sad chicks to a sentence people definitely don't want to talk about that um who wants to say there was a sad chick before who wants to say that they know of a sad chick who wants to really do that people don't really want to do that maybe sometimes we do when we're joking around but i have arrived today to talk about some touchy subjects um for myself and for a lot of other people, but I would do myself, nor y'all, no justice if I don't expose my own truth. Um, that's one thing I've learned. Hey, friend, I freaking miss you. You don't know I need you, nigga. I've been, when that phone come, we gonna have to meet halfway. It's some serious stuff, Ron. So, I have been healing in a lot of areas. Um, this year has been amazing for me. Not my HIV but my mental state, um, I have been fighting with my old self and my new self becoming a better me. So I've learned how to control my thinking. I have learned how to control what I focus on. I have really been focusing on this thing, right? But what I've learned is that when you heal from something, you have to talk about it. When you can't talk about something, you ain't healed from it. You know what I mean? And when you overcome something, you have to teach it. You have to share it so that other people can get it and other people can learn and other people can grow. So I, I, I don't talk about certain stuff. And sometimes I do if y'all catch me in my feelings. But today I have arrived. Okay, let me get to it. So y'all know, hey friend. So y'all know I've been HIV positive for 15 years. It's, it's been a long 15 years. We're going into 16 years this year. I might have a party, y'all. I might have, have me a, a, a virtual party <laughs> for my anniversary to my 16th year of being HIV positive. Because it's a celebration for me, y'all. It's not a sad thing. So, hey, so within these 15 years, I'm going to say it's been, it, 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 was, it was complicated. That's why y'all got to get these books. HIV Experiences and Stop Hating Sad Chicks. Y'all get these books so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. But I'm explaining it to y'all personally. <coughs> Somebody calling me. Okay, so I'm going to say I can't really remember what year or how it happened. But I was being cheated on, right? 
So I was a good girl. You know, I, I didn't have a lot of sex partners before this HIV stuff happened to me. You know, I, I wasn't doing all. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a hood rat in a sense. Or I wasn't a thought. You know what I mean? But, you know, I had my share of little fun. You know what I mean? So in my relationship, I was, I, I was 100. You know what I mean? I was like, I was the best me that I could be at that time of my life. I wasn't a cheater. I was loyal. I was lovable. I was packed. All this good stuff. I was um team player. Like I was, I think I was pretty good, right? And this Negro cheated on me and cheated on me and cheated on me and cheated and cheated and cheated and cheated. And, cheated. and what we know now is that cheating is abuse. And a lot of times we don't want to understand that. But cheating is abuse. So I was getting abused on so many levels and it, it took away from me as a woman and who I was, right? So I was down, sad, depressed, going through, and the Negro was doing him. So somehow I started to talk to somebody that he, y'all got to read these books. I ain't going to tell y'all everything. I'm going to tell y'all sides of stories. But I wind up talking to somebody. And it's somebody that I talked to. I told him about my HIV status. And he became like Team Shay. You know what I mean? He like, what? You HIV positive? What that mean? Keep in mind, before this, every time I tell somebody, they like, put me in the friend zone. Oh, you the coolest person in the world. You strong, da 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 But this one, he ain't do me like that. He like, oh, that don't mean nothing. You, you like, you good. He like, get yourself together. So I'm like, what you mean? What you mean, get yourself together? He like, Get your hair done. Get your nail done. Keep yourself up. And don't let this nigga do you dirty. Don't be all sad and depressed and down and not doing nothing for yourself. Don't just go to work. Like, take care of yourself, right? So I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So I start taking care of me. Because he was he was explaining to me how to be. Um, I'm, I'm thinking he was he was basically what he was doing was he was showing me how to cover up my pain. But I ain't know, though. I thought he was being my friend. We, he, like, helping me, right? So I started doing that. I started getting my hair done, my nails done. I started, like, you know, getting jazzy, right? Still one up. That nigga still was cheating. So me and him, we kept talking, kept talking. And I wound up messing around with him, right? I didn't even listen. I did not even know how to be a cheater at that time. Because I was just feeling good because he was deaf for me. He was supporting me. He was like, you you beautiful. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You smart. You, you're going to be something. And all this stuff, all in my ear. Hey, friend. He just telling me all this stuff. Like, don't stop living. That don't mean nothing. You got kids to live for. You know, I was depressed, sad, suicidal, all that. He was like, man, you come outside. You can fuck me. We cool. We, we cool. We kick it. You know, I'll show you a nice time. So I'm like, okay, okay. Because this nigga making me feel bad at home. You know, he making me feel less than at home. But then when you go outside with the other nigga, he make you feel good. He make your soul feel good. He make your body feel good, right? So I was basically, hey, friend, everybody my friend, y'all. So I was basically being abused at home. And then the sad nigga was actually manipulating me too. Well, I ain't know. It just was feeling good, right? Y'all. <laughs> I started messing with this guy and messing with him. And it was feeling good. He was teaching me how to cheat. He was teaching me how to be a cheater. So when y'all see me and I be talking about cheating and sad chicks, I ain't just talking about this because I read it somewhere. I literally did this stuff. I did it for a lot of years. I cheated to keep myself above water at times. I cheated to survive HIV. If I wouldn't have had cheated, and I'm, this is not against God, y'all know, I love the Lord. But at that time, I wasn't strong enough to, to just pray and, and, and go through that. I, I had somebody help me, right? I had to cheat in order to maintain my sanity because I didn't understand what was going on. You know what I mean? So I had to go and cheat because it made me feel better because he was not making me feel better. Right? So now I got the other nigga. He got a girlfriend now. Like I knew he had a girlfriend, but who is she? I don't care about her. <laughs> I care about her. Who she supposed to be? Cause this nigga make me feel good. He give me what I need. We, it's my friend. Right? So, I became the sad chick. Now, remind you, I got a nigga. Now, I goes and cheat and get a nigga on the side, but which I becomes the sad chick of his chick. It just was mess. <laughs> it's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. So now, we got this circle going on because everybody know everybody, you know. So now, she know about me. I know about her, but what's she going to do? What's she going to do? Beat me up? I'll kill her. 
I would have killed her back then, y'all. <laughs> I would have killed her if she would have tried to take him away from me. My baby said, we know mama. <laughs> I would have killed her if she would have tried to take. I think I, I think I think I have narcissist tendencies too. I, I have them, but I'm healing. Thinking back. If that girl would have tried to take him from me, I would have killed her. I would have been on the news. It wouldn't have been a book. It wouldn't have been a, a politician trivia. It wouldn't have been none. I would have took her out. <laughs> she would have took that from me because I needed him to breathe. I needed him to live. He literally called me every day. Good morning. What you eat? Good morning. Is you okay? Good morning, beautiful. Why my dude doing him? He can't see me. He don't know what's going on with me. He don't know. We just living together. But that other nigga, he was like, you could write a book. You could do anything you want to do. I'll help you. You could do this. You could do that. He putting the cables on me, making me feel like I could do anything in the world, y'all. He made me feel so good about myself, about being HIV positive. And I wasn't sad. It was a lot of days. He became my God in a sense. I wasn't sad a lot of days. I wasn't depressed a lot of days because that nigga helped me, y'all. And I started to get mad because I'm like, wait a minute. This ain't right. Why he up over there with her? <laughs> and why? See, when I'm in my book, see, y'all. So I said, y'all got to get this book. It's three type of sad chicks. And I found myself going through phases of, I did, hey. I found myself going through phases where, in the beginning, I didn't care about her. Who she supposed to be? Wish she would have came for me, I would have killed her. Period. Then I went through the phases of, I really care about her because he care about her. I won't, I won't kill her. If I kill her, he going to be mad. He going to be able to supply me what I need. So I got to care about her. I can't tell on him. I can't beat her up. Mad you, y'all. I got a whole dude at the crib. This nigga so far, he's dirt. He don't even see. I didn't got a whole nother relationship on the side, y'all. He ain't even see. <laughs> he didn't even care. He did not care. So now, then I go through the phases of, I could be better for him than her. What? Uh, what? You and them police on duty. Wait, go. Something wrong with them. So, then I go through the phase is that I can be better for him than her. I went through all of the stages of side chick tendencies. You know, it's one that don't care. It's one that don't know. And it's one that thinks she can be better. I literally went through all of the stages of being a sad chick until one day I was like, I, I don't think this working out for me. He, the relation outside ain't working for me and the relation inside ain't working for me because he treated me like garbage. And then now I, I realized like he was cheating on us. Right? So that was, okay, now I got with this dude because he was making me feel better. Okay, I, I found out he had a girlfriend. Okay, cool. But now he cheating on us. He got another girl. No, now you can't do that. You you can't go outside the circle. <laughs> so now you cheating on us? That's how I felt. Like you cheating on you can't cheat on us. We got we know what we got going on. How you gonna go outside that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't 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 hurt me like that. But then I started to think. Wait a minute, it's trivia. Then he starts talking to me bad. Hold on, I, I got to go all the way with this stuff. He started talking to me bad. He started, like, saying inappropriate things. But, you know, I'm used to somebody treating me bad. You know, this the in-house dude been treating me bad since the beginning of time. I'm used to this. I'm used to toxic behavior. I'm used to that. I became toxic. You know, you, you be abused for so long that you become the abuser. You know what I mean? I even treated him bad and said stuff to him out of the way. But that's just how it was. You know what I mean? So the outside dude start treating me bad. I'm like, wait a minute, this just this, this uh wait a minute, wait a minute, uh hold up. But you know what? He don't mean that. <laughs> Maybe she made him mad. So I started to get hurt on the outside and in the inside. And it was just crazy, y'all. I'm laughing about it because I can laugh now because I'm done with it. I'm far, I'm far from these days of my life. But I started to feel like Neither one of them deserved me, period. Let's go there first. Neither one of them deserved me. He was treating me bad. He was treating me bad. And I was allowing myself to be treated that way because I didn't love myself, right? So when you don't love yourself, you allow certain stuff in your life that you usually would not allow. 
when you love yourself. Because when you love yourself, you're not going to allow you to hurt you, let alone somebody else. You know what I mean? So I started to evaluate situations like this ain't right. That's not right. And I start picking up the phone, calling people like people that's on this lab right now. Girl, he did. Girl, he did. Girl, he did. You know what I mean? Even me and the other chick start having fights, y'all. I'm in the car with her dude riding off with her nigga. Like, you stupid. You know what I mean? I'm literally having fight. I had two fights with her. Where my man was at? My in-house, he was at home. He ain't know nothing about none of this. If he probably ever see this laugh, he gonna be like, you had a fight? Oh, no, I did tell him. I think I told him about it years later. Had fighting everything. B. Y'all see me as being this positive person, but I'm exposed me today because can't nobody expose me how I expose me. You know what I mean? I've done things that's not right. I have not been a good person um, and I was selfish. These things that I'm telling y'all that I've done, I was behaving out of selfishness, y'all. I wanted to feel better and I wasn't thinking about the lives that could have been affected by what I was doing. I let one nigga cheat on me and do me dirty and mistreat me, and I became the thing I hated. And I'm going to say it again. Sometimes you could be treated so bad that you become the thing that you hate so much. And I became the thing that I hated so much. I hated him. <laughs> Ooh, that's a harsh word. I could not stand him, but I loved him so much. I could not stand him. He didn't come home at night. He ain't helped. He disrespected me in the worst way. He talked to me so bad. And I still stayed with him, y'all. And I took it in. You know what I did? I started talking to him bad. I started treating him bad. I gave him fire for fire. The Bible says you don't fight fire with fire. You fight fire with good. But back then, even with reading my Bible and praying, I still did not get the reality of what was really going on in my life. I was allowing the thing that hurt me to become me. And I wasn't not a good person, y'all. I wasn't not. Y'all heard that. I was not a good person. I went out and I cheated. I was dealing with a serial cheater in my house. And I was dealing with a serial cheater outside of my house. And I became a woman that I didn't know. I didn't know me no more. Keep in mind, I'm HIV positive. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot because he made me feel so good. I'm not a good person at times. And it still bothers. I like feel like I won't cry right now. <laughs> it still bothers me that I did these things, you know? And y'all know I'm silly. When I get uncomfortable, y'all know I do stupid stuff like yarn, look look crazy, get quiet. Um I had to I had to stop. I had to stop, y'all. I had to stop, right? I had to stop and say, who you want to be? Who are you, Strivia? Who are you? you? You claim to be a woman of God. You claim to love the Lord. You claim to know the word. You preach and teach all these people, and you do all these amazing things. But when ain't nobody looking, you sneaking around, doing stuff you ain't got to be doing. Where's God at? You know what I mean? And I had a mental breakdown, y'all. A couple of years ago, this stuff ain't just been, I ain't been healed for five, six, seven years, y'all. This stuff just happened. <laughs> this stuff just happened a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, I started to investigate um, abuse. What is abuse? What is abuse? And I stopped picking up the phone, calling the police, asking questions. And they was transferring me. They was, baby, you getting abused. And I'm like, what? You in a bill? Yeah, me? I'm getting a bill? No. I be, I be bad too sometimes, you know? And I started to understand what was going on. Hold up. No, 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 no. What? I was being emotionally, physically, sexually, mentally. I was being abused on every, every area of being abused. And not only that, I was abusing on every area of, of, of being abused. I was a, a bad person too. Not only them, but I was a part of the madness because I was doing the same exact thing. I was manipulating situations. <laughs> I was causing havoc. I was arguing, fussing, and cussing. You know, I was doing a lot of demonic things too. And I was doing a lot of things to satisfy my flesh that was making me feel good, that helped me forget 
baby, you are HIV positive. You got to live with this. If these both of these niggas drop dead today, you got to deal with this. I ain't want to deal with it. I ain't want to deal with it. So I did other stuff to help me deal with it, you know? And when I got the courage and the strength to understand what I was going through, I started to make changes. And I left one nigga, right? I left the one nigga that was doing me so dirty. But I was still holding on to the other one, right? So now the other one started feeling like, wait a minute. Hold up. I don't like you. Yeah, I was still a sad chick, y'all. Keep it, keep it. I still was a sad. After I let my nigga go, I still was a sad chick, right? So I'm thinking he come around, you know. I like him. We like each other. He come around. <laughs> he started to not like me, y'all. He didn't like the strong me. He didn't like the me that stand up for myself. Don't don't talk to me like that. Oh no, stop. I was stopping sentences, baby. I was cutting them off in mid sentence. Wait, 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 wait. Don't talk to me like that. I hang up phones. Click. Call back. Why, did you hang up? Yes. Don't speak to me. Don't talk to me like that. And until you learn how to talk to me, I don't think we should talk. Click. I was hanging up phones. I was demanding respect. See, I learned that you teach people how to treat you. I had to go back. See, I tried that with my mate, and it didn't work. So I had to leave because one of us is going to die. Somebody's going to die. So it, it, it wasn't that easy with the one that I was living in the house with. I had to literally leave because somebody's going to die. We was toxic to each other. I had became something that I, I didn't know who I was no more. And I was allowing the things that happened to me to become me. And I couldn't let that happen to me. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying, like, I'm just admitting my wrong. I know I was doing wrong things. You know what I mean? But then on the outside, I'm looking like, okay, this nigga might come around. <laughs> Maybe it's a chance. He stopped liking me. He couldn't deal with me no more. He couldn't deal with the things I was saying. The things I was doing, how I was behaving. My boss up game had got too strong. And he couldn't deal with me. So he cut me off. <laughs> he stopped talking to me all the time. Then I'm like, dang. So then my, me and dude got back together. And I started to demand respect. Like, okay, we ain't living right. This has been messed up for a long time. We ain't been living right. And it didn't work after that. Because after I, to, I, I changed the game because I began my healing process. And I said, oh, no, 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 we can't be doing this. This can't go on. That can't happen. We can't live like this. You can't talk to me like that. We can't do this. They're like, what? No, no, we've been doing it. So we had to depart. And now I'm free. I'm alone. And I'm going through my, uh, my transitional things that I'm going through, learning about myself and learning about people and learning about life. So when I say stop hating sad chicks, I'm not saying I condone a person being a sad chick. I am saying you don't know what happened to this woman that make her that person. I was once her. I, I, I would never mess with nobody's boyfriend. Come on now, like a husband or none of that. I got in a situation that I didn't understand how I got in. And when I got there, it felt good to me. And it helped me. And I stayed there too long. You know what I mean? But when I got out of it, I'm out of it now so I can speak on it now. I'm not hurt no more. It's not the person, y'all. It's the sin. It's the sin behind it. It was the selfishness of me. I was a selfish person. I have a good heart. I care about people. I care about people's life, their souls, their hearts, their kids, their family. I care. But in a selfish moment, when you being selfish, you don't care about nobody. It's the sin, y'all. It's not the person. So I no longer, I don't hate people. All the people that he cheated on me with, I don't hate them people. A lot of them on his life. A lot of them friends with me. They done, wrote, they done bought books from me. I done counseled some of them. You see what I'm saying? So I don't hate people. I hate the sin behind it. And that's why I do what I do, y'all. That's why y'all see me laugh. That's why you see me doing this. I am coming for sin. I'm coming to expose sin. It's not the person. It's the sin. I told y'all my sin today. I don't talk to y'all like that. I tell y'all positive stuff. <laughs> telling y'all my sin. Satan mad at me today. <laughs> He's mad at me today. But I'm telling y'all a vulnerable part of me so y'all can understand where my passion come from. I'm exposing sin when I say stuff I say because sin needs to be exposed, not the person. It's not the person, y'all. People really, some people really have good hearts. Some people really are good people, some of them. But some of us are in survival mode. 
Y'all don't know, a lot of people are trying to survive pain. And we, you trying to survive, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Y'all better share my life. It's a good one. I like it too. I'm getting healed. I feel it. When you are trying to survive pain, you don't know what you might do. You could sit and say, man, if I was HIV positive, oh, man, if he did this, oh, man, if she did this, I wouldn't allow this. Nigga, you don't know. You don't know what you would do when you're trying to survive pain. You would lie, you would steal, and you would cheat. Oh, maybe not y'all, y'all Christians. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Y'all Christians, y'all probably would not do that. You probably wouldn't. But some people, some people was different. When you're trying to survive, you're in survival mode. And you're going to survive by any means necessary. Period. I don't care. Well, some of us. I don't know about all y'all. <laughs> some of y'all. So a lot of people was in survival mode. They are trying to survive. And when you're trying to survive, it's you against the world. And you're being selfish. And you're not thinking about nobody else's life. And I've been there before. And every day of my life, I'm fighting every day to never be her again. To bring awareness to pain, to bring awareness to suffering, to bring awareness to cheating, HIV. I'm doing this every day of my life until the day I die. The day I die going to be really tragic for me. I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I'm going to be mad I got to die. I'm going to be mad I got to die, y'all, because I won't do this. I won't do this all the time. I don't want to die, y'all, and, and not be able to do this. I want to shed light on dark places because people are hurting and hurting and being selfish. And all we got to do is call out to the Lord, and he can help us, and we don't have to hurt other people. Ooh, that was really beautiful. Only if I would have got that years ago. I got it now. I don't, I don't have to be selfish and sleep with somebody else's boyfriend and sell myself short because God is showing me I am a queen. It's beautiful, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm saying? They calling me. It's a beautiful feeling to know that you, somebody love you. God loves me. I am special. I am chosen. I am important to God. And the more and more I understand that, I know who I am. I know my worth. I would never allow somebody to mistreat me again. Not only that, I would never allow myself to mistreat me again. Because I'm important. So, more the story is, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to stop. I'm a barata. <laughs> Sing y'all, but that song just did something to me. What Beyonce say? I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. Stop. I'm gonna work harder. That's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm a survivor. I didn't survived already. I I could drop dead today, really seriously. If I drop dead today, I did. I did a lot. I did a lot. I'm some out. I did so much. These two years been amazing to my soul. I could drop dead today, and it's I I I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. I be satisfied because I ain't hurt no more. And I'm helping people not hurt. My inbox, y'all should see it. My email. And I ain't boosting. I'm just saying it's God. You know? So, I could drop that today. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I didn't survive hell and high water. And I'm still here. So, when y'all see me come through y'all stuff, don't just think that's the girl with the HIV. I've been through some stuff. But, I'm still here. So, y'all got any questions so I can get up out of here. My Friday is done. My seven days, God told me seven days HIV experience straight on your YouTube channel. He said my life was going to change afterwards, y'all. Today is day seven. I got through seven days. It took me two weeks to do this. It took me two weeks to do seven days straight. What, baby? Hold on, give me a minute. You're yeah. It took me seven days to do seven videos on HIV. The T of HIV, y'all. It took me seven. It was hard because my phone was broke. Then every day I had to talk about myself. God made me talk about me. I talked about sex, y'all. I don't even talk about sex. 
I talked about forgiving a person that infected me. I don't talk about that. I think my seven days been amazing. I'm going to go back in a little while and watch all my videos. <laughs> I'm going to watch all seven of them. Oh, I think I suppose a penta here. Hold on. How do I do that? It's probably ain't going to let me do it now. I, wait, let's see. Hold up. I'm supposed to pin my YouTube channel on here. Uh-oh, I think it's going to let me do it. Dang, it still let me do it, y'all. Okay, so I pin my YouTube channel right there, y'all. Watch my last, well, this video, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to put it on YouTube, right? But don't watch this one, because y'all watched this one already. But watch the other six. It's, they, they lit, y'all. They really good. They not that long, either. They, they, they not that long at all. This is probably the longest one, and the first one was the longest one, because I did it on Facebook. Yeah, so today is day seven. I am totally excited, because God told me. Everybody calling me. It's Friday. Seven days straight. And my life will change, y'all. And I am excited. I'm like, so, I don't even know what God finna do. Imagine that. Not knowing the direction that God got for you, but you know that it's good. It's, 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 it's what, I don't know. I don't got no word. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about what God about to do. And another thing, y'all, on my, um, unique, pres new, unique, unique purpose on my group. The next three days, I'm going to go live, and I'm going to share the first three chapters of my other book, Hope and Silence. So if y'all have not yet liked the page, ooh, I don't like that. If y'all have not liked the page, it's Unique Purpose. Um, like the page. I'm going three days. I'm going to talk, start tomorrow. I'm going to go live on the first three chapters of the book. Um, what else? Don't forget to buy these books, y'all. Y'all can purchase these books. They are really, really, really informational. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all have any questions about anything? I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so happy I'm done with this. I'm so happy I'm done with it. Y'all know this is like pulling teeth out of my mouth. I ain't want to tell y'all all my business like that. I ain't want to tell y'all that I was a sinner. <laughs> I ain't want to tell y'all that. I live out of hospital. I'm always here. I can't stand. I can't even do. I can't be great because I, I got to hit the ambulance. Lord. Anyway, I told y'all all my business. I hope y'all don't judge me and look at me different. But like they say, it's two sides to every story. And that was my side. I have done a lot of things that's not right. But I don't regret them at all. They made me who I am today. So, y'all enjoy y'all day. I'm about to get out of here and upload this video on YouTube. <laughs>